It is Tuesday of Scallywagathon, and I am only just starting today. Oh, but but I'm I'm trying. I'm honestly trying. So if you watched my TBR video, you'll know that the first book I'm working on, I don't have to do them in order, but this is also the thinnest book. So the first one that I'm working on is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I started it earlier today while I was waiting around at the doctor's office. So now I am rewarding myself with some Starbucks because my uh, Tag Tuesday video is currently uploading. Can't do anything else about that while it's going. So I'm gonna read for a bit. Yay! Green tea, cream frap. Huh, so that was all well and good and I enjoyed my coffee, but I then remembered as I was reading through the book um, why I had been looking yesterday for little post-it flags. Um, because I'm already finding things that I forgot um, about the actual writing quality of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Things like this style that it shares with Alice in Wonderland where there's an omniscient narrator, but the narrator uses I kinds of words that is like, you know, as I've said. And so those are kind of interesting things that I want to mark for myself. And I remembered um, that I was looking for these flags yesterday, but I didn't find the kinds that I wanted. So I'm going to try Target. I tried Walmart and Office Max yesterday. If Target doesn't have it, then I'll make do with what I've got at home. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Hey folks, it is Wednesday afternoon of Scallywagathon. It is a hot day and I just got off work. I'm here at my local library. I started reading A Darker Shade of Magic over lunch. I, of course, didn't get very far. But this is another restart that I was really excited about. If you watch my TBR, uh, I talk more about it there. But the main thing is, for the life of me, I cannot find a copy of American Gods at any of the local half price bookstores and I really don't want to buy it full price. Um, anyway, it's arrived at the library along with an audiobook that my parents and I are going to listen to on the way down to Tennessee to visit my grandparents. Woohoo! So I'll check in with you guys later, hopefully after I've gotten further in this than I did the first time around. I can tell you that I've come here often enough as an adult that I can much guarantee there we go that my items are always in the exact same spot every single time poor old thing <laughs> well loved so that's the library back there and that is my first elementary school and this is sadly one of the last times I'm going to be coming to this library because they're moving locations. It, it uh, closes down on the 6th of June and it reopens on the 21st. I thought, yeah, no, it'll be fine. I'll just quickly stop at the grocery store, grab a few things. What the heck is going on? Oh, I hope everyone's okay. Maybe just heat stroke? It's really hot outside. I am so out of my element, it's not even funny. Hey folks, a quick update. It is Wednesday night and I just finished filming and editing and starting the upload process of my Scallywagathon TBR. I know it's late, but it was, I don't know, it, it was still something that I wanted to do if I was actually going to participate in the Scallywagathon itself. So I went ahead and did that. And I am trying to, before I go to bed tonight, at least get back to the part in A Darker Shade of Magic that I stopped at last time. So I'll check in with you guys in the morning. So I'm out eating dinner, reading A Darker Shade of Magic for Scallywagathon. And I only just met Lila Bard, more or less. And I'm just dying laughing at the fact that you've got this character who's saying she feels like she was born to be a pirate 
and here I picked this book to read for Scallywagathon. Kind of perfect, huh? Oh, right, and her gun. Her gun is named Caster. And I just think that's hilarious too because I know two different characters that are named Caster. And I will probably be constantly thinking about them before I think about her gun for a while, but they're both good guys, so <sighs> maybe they'll protect her through the gun, maybe. Orange flag for things that I'm a little concerned about, meaning I just met the Dane twins. And in particular, what, a is it Athos? I wanna say it's Athos. Yeah, yeah, Athos. <laughs> Whoo! Uh, yeah, and uh, starting to feel bad for Holland, huh? Whoo, boy. It's be an interesting one. Hello, Scallywagathon. I have to do this update quick. So what has happened since the last time we spoke was the fact that I was in the middle of a darker shade of magic. And basically I blew through it. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I cannot even tell you how quickly I blew through that. That was Thursday night. I got through about all but the last 60 pages. So then Friday rolls around, I went to work and it's Memorial Day weekend here in the States. So I uh, went with my parents on the long drive down to Tennessee, which is about six hours real drive time. And my dad and I, my dad wanted to listen to my audiobook of Elric of Melnibene. So I had to, <laughs> I had to wait until we were done and my mom was driving and we weren't listening to the audiobook anymore to finish A Darkest Shade of Magic. And I did it by the thin light of my phone. I'm just like, got my phone on with the brightness and I'm using it like a little, a little book light because I forgot to bring one like an idiot. So now it is Saturday morning. We're going out to Joanne's as a present to my grandmother and somewhere between driving here and there, I get to start Pattern Master because fingers crossed, we are going to McKay's Used Books, that big bookstore that I have mentioned on this channel before. And I'm going to look for a copy of American Gods. I brought a library copy with me just in case, but I'm putting all these flags in the books that I read now and I don't want to do that to a library book. I mean, I could try and transfer them, but I, if I can find a book, a copy of American Gods at McKay's, then I will, because basically my only option back home was that I was gonna have to buy a brand new copy. I could not find one at half price books at all to save my life. And I looked at all of the local stores. So that's my update, bye. All right, so here's my very quick update before I head in. It is Sunday morning and I am still visiting my grandparents here in Tennessee. I am 90 pages from being done with Pattern Master, the very first book in Octavia Butler's Patternist series. So after that, I'm gonna try and start American Gods today because that is a honker, and I know if I don't start it today, there are very little chances that I will finish it tomorrow, even though tomorrow is a travel day to get back to Ohio and there will be a lot of sitting around in a car. The other booktube-ish, update on top of that is that my dad and I are still working our way through my second listen of the very first book in the Elric saga, Elric of Melnibene. So that's been interesting. It's also given me an opportunity to take more notes the second time around for my full review. So I'll check in with you guys later after we go to McKay's bookstore. Yay! I did it. I read my third book for Scallywagathon. It's just the first novel published in the Pattern Master series, but the fourth one chronologically, if I didn't say that before. 
I did like the Pattern Master better the second time now that I've read it. I understood more of the politicking that's involved. I maintain that it does slow down at one point, so that made it particularly difficult for me to get through. But at least now I only have American Gods for uh, all of tomorrow. And we'll see if I get any more red yet tonight. Probably not, I'm so tired from, it's a vacation, but we always come down to help my grandparents with stuff. So there's always a lot of running around that's involved. So I will check back in with you guys. I don't even know if it's gonna be any time before I get back to Ohio, quite honestly. Uh, we're planning on leaving at six o'clock in the morning, like out the door, wheels in the well at six o'clock in the morning. Fingers crossed, I can actually get through American Gods. I hunted for it at McKay's and I hunted for it back home in Ohio. And I, I'm really disappointed that I'm probably gonna have to buy this book new. Like I've, I've got it as a library copy, but that means I can't annotate it the way that I have been. I learned by listening the second time to the audiobook for Elric of Melnibone, how much I really have started to dislike taking notes independent of the books as I'm reading them. So, oh well, I'll figure it out. Take care. All right, so no lies, right? Like there's, there's literally no point. I unintentionally um, figured all this out on Twitter just a little bit ago, so I might as well record it. Um, as you could tell from my previous video, I thought that Scallywagathon ended here on the 28th. That's because, it's this isn't an excuse, but it it's because I heard Kayla talk about Monday being a holiday, which here in the States, this Monday, today, the 28th, is a holiday. So I thought that Scallywagathon ended today, which to me, in my head, made sense because it was a long weekend. So I figured that Scallywagathon was made that way on purpose. So I've been thinking this whole ride back to Columbus from my grandparents in Tennessee that I had the rest of today to finish American Gods. Well, as you can see, I didn't get very far anyway. I'm really struggling with the book. And I struggled with it last time too. So maybe it's for the best <laughs> that I just, you know, um, I'll mention more about this in my May wrap up. But basically, I got myself into a position where I was trying to read so many books in parts instead of just one book straight through. And I think if I go back and I finish the four other books that I had started long before I even knew about Scallywagathon, if I just focus on those, maybe I can finish American Gods here in June. Maybe. <laughs> ah, so a really uh, kind of a disappointing end to Scallywagathon, but I'm still glad I participated. The map was great fun. Figuring things out to read um, was great fun. And again, these were all books that I was planning on getting back to anyway. So it was just it was just encouragement that bumped them up. So I'm not I'm not mad about that. Um, and I'm not mad that I mean I am mad that <laughs> today is not the last day. But again, it's no one's fault but my own. So. All right. Hope the rest of you had a better Scallywagathon than I did. Take care.